Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we had a chance to go out and look for some cards. I know what you're thinking. Maybe I picked them up at Rite Aid, you know. There's a Rite Aid bag sitting here, but I didn't just stop at Rite Aid. Went to five stores, Walmart had nothing. Best Buy had nothing. Hobby Town USA had nothing. But Rite Aid had some stuff. And one of my favorite spots lately, Barnes & Noble, I actually picked up a membership for 25 bucks. And you save 20% off your first purchase and then 10% for the rest of the year. So I have been hitting a lot at my local Barnes & Noble. I have two of them within a half hour in my house. So I hit the two Barnes & Nobles. I have had some success. Finding cards there, they do limit what you can buy. The one is two of each item and the other one is two total items. So, you know, if you have a Barnes & Noble nearby, I definitely recommend it. If not, you know, one place most people are not looking is Rite Aid. Now, one great thing I've noticed about Rite Aid is they have a lot of your older sets. And what I'm saying is they may not have chilling rain or evolving skies when it comes out, but they were stocked with Vivid Voltage, Champion's Path, um, Darkness Ablaze, and I do believe some battle styles. So I had a coupon there from the last time I shopped up there. So I decided to get the most I could so I could get the seven off 35 offer they were doing. And I got some three packs. So go ahead and take a guess as what's in those three packs. You might be able to see through the bag. And you can maybe see my background here. I know, I know. Not everyone loves this set, but I got a lot of cards to pull here, so I have picked up four Battle Styles 3 packs from Rite Aid. Looks like we have three Eevee, one Jolteon promo, three packs per box. We're gonna get into those. Before we do that, I just wanted to update you guys a little bit on my progress on my binder. So, as you can see, we've got pretty much all the commons and uncommons and most of the reverse hollows, but we're missing so many like chase cards from this set. So, the binder is coming along swell. I cannot complain. But I have opened up so many cards and I still have missing spaces in the binder. You know, mostly, like I said, the common and uncommon. Then we get to here. And we talk about the full arts and the alternate arts and the rainbows. We're just missing so many cards here. I mean, we have pulled a couple golds, you know, a couple rainbows. But it seems like we're just missing a lot of cards from the set. Maybe I've gone a little too far, but... Missing a lot of cards from the set. We do have a couple sleepy Tyranitars. But you can see I'm missing a ton of cards from this set still. So I'm definitely looking to fill up some of these holes in the void and pull the rest of these cards that I've been able to pull. I've got a lot of duplicates too, which is crazy. Um, even in the rares, ultra rares and stuff, I've got a lot of duplicates. But I still have like empty spots in my binder. So I decided, you know, why not get a whole bunch of battle styles, you know, and see what I can do with that. The equivalent to about a third of a booster box. So I do have my battle styles binder here. And if I see something I don't think I have, I'm gonna refer back to this later in the video, guys. So hopefully we can put some cards in the binder. I do also have another one of my favorite cards here. I pulled this out of a Tag Team GX Japanese box. It's got Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno in it. Another reason I have this out is because the second part of our video, yeah, that's right, you might have guessed this already, we've got some Chilling Rain for you. So we do have two three-pack Chilling Rains, so a total of 18 packs, half a booster box we're going to be opening up, all in three-pack blisters. We got the EV promos, and these were from the Barnes and Noble. So that's going to be the second part of our video. Also, I put this together last night. And this is the start of my Chilling Rain Binder. So Chilling Rain Binder is coming along. Whoa, 
some boxes just fell in the background don't mind that should stack those up a little better but I did not so a chili rain binder is actually coming along a little bit better than the battle styles I should move the camera back a little bit here chili rain binder is coming along pretty swell but I'm still missing a lot here we go you get into the alternate arts and the full art trainers I did get that golden Snorlax, but that's the best card I've got. A couple golds right there. And that's it. So, I am definitely still chasing the Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno. I'm chasing those legendary bird cards that I know and love from my youth. And the new artworks that they've got for the legendary birds. Because I've always had a soft spot in my heart for the legendary birds. I want to pull some legendary birds out of the Shilling Rain set. But let's start off with Battle Styles. And I know it's been rough getting a lot of cards out of Battle Styles. I know people are having some problems getting some pulls. So you know what I'm even gonna do? I'm just gonna go one box at a time. Leave the promo in there and everything like that. Not even gonna mess with all that. All we're gonna do is just open up the packs that are inside. Otherwise, this video will be probably too long to keep anybody's interest. So, there's the code on the Battle Styles pack. Two, three, four. Hopefully, everyone's having a fantastic day. This is Tuesday night when I'm filming this. We have Onyx, Spiro, Silzapede, Shinx, Cacnea, Cacturn, Electrode. So, again, nothing spectacular. I'm sure this is green. It is. So we're just gonna set that off. We're trying to go like one for three out of these. I, I'm expecting like one hit out of each of these. Hopefully we can get something we don't have. Cause again, a lot of duplicates, like I said before. Oh, right here I get off the bat. I didn't get nothing out of this. So let's just flip right through it. Let's we'll flip right through it. There's a reverse and age slash for the rare. Nothing we haven't seen before, okay. So, Hopefully this third pack has some last pack magic for that box. Our plastic blister three pack, whatever you want to call it. There's the code card. Hopefully this one has a hit in it. Because otherwise we're just buying these for nothing at this point. Alright, heat more. Hollandor, Lickitung, Horsey, Mankey. There is a hit back here. My wow. It's like a Phobie Reverse and Rabbit Strikers for V. So, looks like something I've got already. I'm going to sleeve it up anyway. Just because it is, you know, a rare holographic full art card. No, well, not full art. Well, whatever you want to call it. It is a V card. Let's we'll call it a V card. We'll sleeve it up, it's our first hit. So we can't complain, not a bad pull. It's just, it's something I already had. I'm gonna have to go back and see if I'm missing any of these reverse hollows. But for now, I'm looking for the big hits. So we'll get into our second Battle Styles three pack. I'd be crazy if I pull a third Sleeping Tyranitar and then just, in case you guys are looking for a code, there's one, that. It'd be crazy if I pulled another Sleeping Tyranitar and then just, you know, missed every other Ultra Rare and Rainbow Rare in the set or Alternate Art in the set. I want to pull that Alternate Art Ursha too. And I believe it's a Houndor that I haven't pulled yet. That's a gold Houndor that's in there. Or Houndoom. Houndor. Houndoom. That's in the set that I haven't pulled. So I'd love to pull that, but we'll see what happens here. Pharaoh, Escape, Electabuzz, Buzz, Bell, Sprout. Bronzer, Horsey, Crowfish, the Reverse, and we got something. Falapple V. I don't know if I have this or not. I do want to check the binder though real quick because I do not know if I have this. And it might go straight into my binder. Card 18. This doesn't look familiar to me, so I may not have this one. Card 17. Card 18. It goes right here. Okay. 
I finally pulled something that I needed for this binder. So I'm happy about that. We got Falapple V finally. We had Falapple V Max. We had Victini V Max, but Falapple V eluded us. So we filled something in the binder. I'm happy right there. That three pack was already worth it to me because I was able to put a card in the binder that I didn't have. So that to me is worth it. Every time I can fill up a spot in the binder, something I didn't have, it's worth it to me. So technically we have two hits, but that one went straight in the binder. We got one hit per booster so far. And for our three pack boosters, two, three, four. It's been some crazy weather out here. It's raining again. It's summertime. It's like monsoon out here. Romantis, Zubat, Cubone, Frillish, Houndor, Electrive again. I do believe I have that Houndor card. We'll just get into the last pack. I don't know where you guys are at, but I live in Ohio. Okay. And they say if you don't like the weather in Ohio, wait five minutes. And that's basically what it's been like. You go from 90 degrees to 65 and raining to thunderstorms to humid to bright sunny day and it just it's been strange it's been a strange summer here but uh there's the code card one two three four glissor pharaoh mime sparrow zubat sojourner and uh topu bulu holographic take it it's a pull Two out of three from uh, that box. It almost looks like a reverse and a hollow at the same time. I don't know. Turn this extra light on. If you can see the hollow pattern down in the part that's supposed to be green, you can see it off off the camera, but on camera, excuse me, it's a little hard to see. I'm still going to go ahead and sleeve it up just because it is a holographic and as a kid, we didn't have full arts and rainbow rares and all that. I don't want to sound old, but a hollow was a pull. If you pulled a hollow, you pulled something. So we're going to leave that up there in the pull pile. So we're halfway through battle styles. We already got three pulls. Plus we got our uh, promo cards that are becoming harder and harder to find. The promos. <coughs> Excuse me. There is the code card. And we have three packs here. A couple of Urshfus and Polion. I'm going to take a sip real quick. All right. Let's get into. Let's open a Polion first. This pack feels a little light, but maybe I'm wrong. Code card. Four from the back, well, we got Lightning, Carcoal, Durant, Esper, Blipbog, Houndor, Onyx, a Jerem Hall graphic. See that card looks like, see how it's shining the whole card? It's almost like it's a reverse and a hollow at once. See, the whole card is shining. And normally the hollow pattern is just right here in the hall graphic. But this whole card is shiny. Now, guys, let me know if you've experienced this. Because are these errors? Is this a hollow bleed? What, what are we considering this card? It, it's bleeding through the whole card. It, it's, it's literally holographic like a reverse. But it's also holographic like a holographic card. Now, I'm thinking if it's supposed to be a hollow, it's just supposed to be hollow in here. But I'm literally seeing streaks of hollow through the whole card. So... You guys let me know what you've experienced and if this is normal or if this is an error or if this is just them rushing the cards out, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. More people should comment on the videos than they do. Maybe they're just in a rush, you know, or they're lazy and they want to comment. But I really would appreciate it if you guys commented, what is this? I mean, is it a reverse? Is it a hollow? Is it a reverse and a hollow? Is it an error? You know, it's just like bleeding through the whole card. So, it's very interesting. I have not experienced that in previous sets. So, Battle Styles is really the first I've seen it. 
I think I saw it one time in Shining Fates, and that was with a uh, Indeedy card. Oh, right, here's your code. And we got one, two, three, four from the back. Let's check out what we got. Car, coal, pig, night, waves. Grand meow. Crawfish, scatterbug. Cubone. Murkrow. Fan of waves. Marowak. All right, let's get some last pack magic. We get a hollow already, but... I like to see something better than that. We put one card in the binder. We need to put more cards in the binder. All right. One, two, three, four. Let's see, we got Fighting, and Scroll, Heat More, Scroll Scorn, Tapic, Honage, Electabuzz, Ball Toy, Gligger, Ramorade, and, well, it's not going to happen here. Bolton. So another rough box. We did get the chair out of that. But uh, other than that, no more pulls for the binder. So we went into our last battle styles. Three pack blister with a promo card of Eevee. Gotta be careful when you open these not to damage. Promo card. All right. There's the code for anybody looking out that wants it. Put those sleeve those up later. Keep the video going. We got two Empoleons and Urshifu. Let's open Urshifu last. Let's get right into the Empoleon packs. What have your best pulls been so far? Which artwork has given you the most success? Or are you guys fed up with battle styles? Do you not even want to see it anymore? Have you guys had some rough luck like a lot of people? Or do you have a lot of empty spots in your binder like me? But you pulled a couple good cards. Mustard. More Peko Cheryl. Yamper. Scatterbug. Cubone. Honchgro. And Electribe. Nothing fancy there. Nothing to write home about, as the old saying goes. There's another code card for y'all. Right, let's check it out. Energy Dotler, Ndidi, Kramer, Bellsprout, Blamio. And we got nothing there. Another Electrive. This, if your favorite Pokemon is Electrive, we have pulled Electrive one, two, three, four times now. For our rare, we've pulled four Electrives out of what? Eight, nine packs? It's just, this is insane. Electrive every time. Electrive, Electrive. And it's starting to get as bad as Professor's Research, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. I'm happy we found cards today. I'm not happy with what we're pulling. That's it. I love Pokemon. I do not always love what we pull from the sets. So, there's four. Let's see some last pack. Magic. Bisharp, Zubat, Onyx. We have something gold and EXP share. I do think I pulled this, but I will take a gold card all day. Like that is worth the that is worth the whole three pack right there. Is finding that one gold card. I do believe this is one that I've got, but glad to pull a gold card. It's a secret rare. See, we got, I think we do have it in the binder already. And bear with me one second, guys. We do, we do have the XP share. So I got a duplicate, like, what are the odds? I pull two of these and two alternate art Tyranitars, but like half my binder is still missing of rainbow rares or other gold cards like what are the odds i keep pulling the same cards are they like sending certain cards to certain regions perhaps are they putting certain cards in certain sets and other cards in other sets i i'm yet to really understand this i'm just i seem to be pulling the same cards over and over but missing other cards in my binder and you know it gets a little bit to the point where I don't know what else to buy to get those outside of just buying the card. 
And I'd like to pull all the cards. Don't get me wrong. I'd like to pull them all. But uh, it seems I keep buying packs and cards and getting the same ones I've already got. So let me know. Let me know your guys' experience. I really do want to hear from you guys. I want to open this up to the community. I'd like to get some, some uh, conversation going. What are your experiences? What's going on with you guys? What are you pulling? What are you not pulling? Same thing as what I got going on or something different? Or is it just me? I'd like to know. I really would. All right. So, Chilling Rain is coming up. These... Whoop, there he goes. Where'd he go? Oh, not too far. These are the three Pokemon I'm looking for the most. Zapdos, Moltres, Arctic here now. There is an alternate Blaziken. Don't get me wrong. The alternate Blaziken would be pretty cool. But I am a legendary bird fan. So, if you gave me some legendary birds, I would happily surpass the most expensive card, the Blaziken. I'll, I'll forget about the Blaziken. I want some legendary birds. So, they're advertising legendary birds. Let's see if we can pull some. We've pulled a couple. There's a lot more to go. So, let's see what we got here in Chilling Rain. I can get that Roadrunner Zapdos running up the side of a hill. I will lose it. I That is the card I want from this set. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and open up this one too. And just get all the packs out at once for this show and rain. So was, they were both EV, so they're both the same. Essentially, Ice and Shadow right around that pack. And we got Moltres, Shadow, and Arcuno on this one. So let's see what we got. I've had pretty good success with Chilling Rain booster boxes, but finding the Chilling Rain booster box to see this, this is a bad sign. I'm gonna open the pack. Got a green card. I know I didn't pull nothing. But we'll see what we got anyway. With the Ralts Reverse, Go Lurk, yep. And nothing else there. The minute I see a green coat carrot, I just freeze. I know I ain't got nothing. I don't know if you guys do the same thing, but yep, see? These ones are reverse. These are packed the opposite of the other cards. So now that I know that, Spiral. Reverse Pissimian. I think I got that already too. And let's put all those off the side. So we're over two. Some people are even going as far as to call this chilling pain. Now I think that's a little rough because I have pulled some good cards, but not all of them. They're again not quite as hard as battle styles, but I'm still going through a rough patch here. Let's see what we got. We're going to Kuna Lapras. Love the artwork on this card. Blitzel, Deerling, Dilbert, Warren, Warren. So we pulled nothing. The reverse rare. So we pulled. Okay. On to our last three packs. Once again, guys, thanks for watching today's video. You guys don't understand how important you are and what you mean to me and the channel. In order for the channel to grow, we need you to like share and subscribe to the channel without those three things the channel kind of stays dormant where it's at but if you can like the video it takes two seconds subscribe maybe another two three seconds and share the video maybe that's 10 to 15 seconds it would really appreciate that it would really help grow the channel it would really help us out a lot in order to take this into the next level i understand there's a great deal of youtubers opening packs but as I've said on my channel before, I have a giveaway. We get to 100 subscribers and 1,000 subscribers. There will be giveaways. I just need to hit some key numbers to get
get the channel going and then I will gladly give away some cards to you guys. The amount of cards I open up every week, I'll gladly give you guys some giveaways. If you see anything in my binder that's missing and you want to help me out, feel free to hit me up in the comments section and let me know what you got for me. Maybe we can work something out or if you want to send it to me, maybe I can send you something that you want or that you saw that I may have an extra one of. Maybe we could work out a trade or something like that. Just an idea. I'm trying to fill up my binder. You're trying to fill up your binder. Appreciate you watching the video. And without further ado, I'm going to take a sip and get into these last three packs. In the last three packs, we have Ice Rider, Shadow Rider, and Ice Rider. Okay. Yeah, this is what I like to see. So hopefully this is something great. Hopefully this is that alternate art card I'm searching for. Come on. Oh, I see the electric. Agatha. Flattery. Cemetery. Columbus. Cast form. Hatina. Aron. Rolts. Volcarona. Could it be, guys? Take a guess. Turn HP. Okay. Not great. Not horrible. I will give it a sleeve. Do believe we got it. Actually, let's take a look. Let's take a pause. Oh, those are Earth Fuse sleeves. Those are battle style sleeves. We have chili rain sleeves for these. Chili rain sleeves. And um Tornado V. Let's check the binder. See if we can pull another one for the binder. Take a quick pause. This is card number 124. 124. Oh, oh, we needed it. We needed it. Okay, we got Tornadoes V Max. There's Tornadoes V. And I am happy. I pulled something I needed in each set. There we go. Can't complain. Better than the last one. We got nothing. Okay. Tornadoes V. Great pull. Happy with that. I got the alternate art. I pulled. So I pulled the alternate art and the V Max before I pulled the V, which is pretty crazy, but I got all three now, so I'm happy with that. Four. Hopefully, we got another awesome pull. Honey, drizzle, slowpoke, coughing, yawn mask. Brown sweet, our best. Uh, nope. Nothing here. Well, I missed my we go, reverse. We're trying to complete the reverse set, too. You know, with me, guys, I like to take the, like the, so say I got a Kakuna. I put the Kakuna in first, the regular one, and I put the reverse over the top. That's how I kind of do my binder, and then I just go in the set order. And then obviously the secret rares at the end, the rainbows and the gold cards. Do you guys do your binders differently? Do you do your reverse hollows in a whole separate section in the back? Or do you put them right over top? Let me know. I'm actually curious. Because I know there's some extra spots in the back, but I don't know if that's enough for every reverse hollow. That's why I kind of put them over the top, especially in the bigger sets like this. The Champion's Path is a much smaller set than like a Chili Rain, so. One, two, three, four. And we got Fighting Energy. Curl, Agatha. Flannery, Rolts, Lapras, and. Oh, we got a Weevil Holographic. We're ending on a Weevil Holographic, guys. It wasn't the best of times, it wasn't the worst of times. We did get a Hollow. So I am going to sleeve that up. Let's see some hollow bleed on that one too. Let me know if you experience that hollow bleed that I'm talking about. If you see it, put a comment down below just to see if you guys can relate to that. On that, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for checking me out here on the channel. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Enjoying Pokemon. Hopefully you guys got some tips on where to get some cards. And the luck we've been having pulling cards. 
So, you know, if you're struggling to pull cards, don't give up. And if you're uh, having great success, then more power to you. I'm really happy for you. But uh, it seems like some of the pull rates are not what I remember. And they seem to decline over time on each set. So we'll really see. Uh, leave your comments down below. I, like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys. I know some of you guys are just here for the code cards. That's understandable. You like playing the TCGO, learning how to play the game. That's great. And uh, other than that, if you're here for the cards, if you're here for the hobby, comment down below some of your experiences. I'd love to chat with you guys. Until next time, have a great one.